Yo, what's good guys? This is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel, the only sneaker channel here on YouTube that you actually need. Thank you. But today we are talking about what I feel is the best. We're actually rewind that back. Nowadays in sneaker culture, the modern trend for all brands to do is to collab with someone. It doesn't sell unless it's a collab. It's weird. It is what it is. I don't like everything that they collab or everyone they collab with, but that is the current state of everything. However, if you're going to collab, make sure that it's like two things that people love. You know what I'm saying? Like peanut butter and jelly, mac and cheese, right? right sneakers and comic books man you had me at hello so these guys right here were sent over by the good folks over at adidas and i really appreciate it man i wanted to grab like a couple of these but i just never did because you know we've done reviews on all of the shoes that have been featured in this pack this marvel adidas pack or whatever you want to call it and all that stuff so like i didn't feel that it was completely necessary to spend my money on something like that when i could be buying new product for you guys and stuff like that but they sent these over it was really cool and i, I super appreciate it none of the ones in here are my favorite but i I do like one like a lot but i'm gonna go with my least favorite first because i mean that's just, just that's just how i do things like if you watch me eat dinner i eat all the gross shit first and then i save the best stuff for last ain't that right babe yeah can we just appreciate the box for one second though they are all the same so it would have been cool if they were all individual you know what i'm saying like whichever character you would have gotten like a special box with that character but fuck, man this is dope and these guys right here are the the shield which I'm surprised that S.H.I.E.L.D., like, because it's not really a character, you know? Like, S.H.I.E.L.D. is an organization. Some people are calling it the Nick Fury. That could work, too. But I, I would just say it's S.H.I.E.L.D., especially because it says, you know what I mean? It's got the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo. Also, the stuff that they've done with the pack is awesome dude like that's the that's one of the cool things about actually collaborating with a brand like marvel like legitimately like where you license out their name and their characters and the likenesses because you can actually use stuff like this instead of you seeing like certain releases come out and they're inspired by but it's not a really it's not like a real collaboration you know what i'm saying because like there's just certain things that they legally cannot do so this is the adidas tmac one and if you guys have been watching the channel for a long time y'all already know what's up with these these joints are bricks dude like I, I hate playing in these things so again this is the t-mac one and this is the shield edition you could see the the shield emblem or logo right there kind of looks like a nightwing logo just saying so basically what we have here is just a black upper you got some white stitching on there for some contrast you got the uh the rubber toe or the shell toe right there this was something that is just like a huge play on adidas heritage you got patent leather right there just as an accent piece again some more contrast you got great tips on the aglets the bottom itself is translucent with a camo print so i don't really think that the camo print fits in with shield or with nick fury but you know, it is what it is. And this rubber feels dope. You know, Adidas has like the best, best clear. clear rubber. Yeah. And Chinese brands. Anta has the best translucent rubber usually. Um, but this rubber feels super grippy, dude. It's crazy. They kept the T-Mac logo right there on the tongue, which is awesome. And then inside the shoe, you have official branding right there that states the collab. Now, again, this shoe, I just don't like on court. They did have great traction, which you can feel right from the jump. But the torsion system in these things is super stiff. And it does not allow for a lot of flex or mobility the rubber toe cap the shell toe that also kind of like reinforced that so it was like ultra stiff and then on top of that the midsole is what you call a double last midsole so it's inside the actual upper so kind of like something like a foam posit if you want to like reference like a nike product so that just means again that the midsole is inside the upper what that was supposed to do originally was just kind of get the upper closer fitting to your foot so that you're like one to one with everything this particular shoe it just it just doesn't move well it's shin splints for days man like i, I called these two by four for your feet but in terms of a collaboration they look amazing now up next this is the uh the one out of the entire pack that i think represents the character the best besides the iron man one which is not in here by the way i really like that version of the shoe but when we saw them at the store like what was it like a size 14 or 18 that was the only one left man that was that, that was huge that's what she said <sighs> Hey. And these guys right here are the Provision, and it's the Captain Marvel edition of the Provision. 
And again, I just think that these, these represent the character perfectly because it's legitimately her costume, which is really cool. So these things do have the same Marvel and Adidas insole, but on the outside right here, you got that traction. This is a shoe that's made primarily for outdoors, but you can play with them indoors. And you can see that Adidas is really using herringbone on a lot of their products lately, which I love. And then you have that exaggerated midsole, which is bounce. It feels super comfortable underfoot. And then you have that overlay that kind of like has her costume kind of like imprinted into it and everything. And this is a synthetic panel and that's for lockdown. The tongue is real weird. I don't know what to even call it. It's like a blanket tongue. You know what I mean? It's not even like a real tongue. And then the inside, you got all that, that uh, weird shaped collar. You got all that padding inside of there, that dog bone pillows, Achilles notches, whatever it is that you want to call them. And then at the toe there, you got the synthetic. This material doesn't feel as bad as the regular version. Those ones had some really cheap material on the toe. These are also synthetic, but they just don't feel as bad as those for some reason. And then again, you got the Captain Marvel kind of like emblem and all that stuff. This is just like what's on her costume in the comic books. This is the way that I would love collabs to look like, you know what I'm saying? Like a Spider-Man collab is weird if it doesn't have like elements of Spidey on there or whatever. And same thing like the Iron Man one where it's got that Iron Man armored look and then it's got the logo or the emblem at the top and stuff like that. So I just love that this is on here. I think it looks great. Now the last Last one that they sent me is my favorite of their shoes currently so far but I, I don't think that this came out as nice as it could have but I do think that it's still really really wicked and it is the Black Panther Adidas Dame 5 the, the only thing that I don't like about them is just that it's an all-black shoe and that's that's it but otherwise I think that it's great and there's not much that you could do with a Black Panther colorway because right like what are you gonna do it's gonna be black I, I just happen to not like sneakers that are all black like that but for it being a Black Panther colorway and and for all the touches that they added to it this is so cool like if you're a Black Panther fan and Dame I feel like represents that world really well and stuff like that like if you if you watch the movie you'll know what I'm talking about so these guys actually have two different tongues which I think is great these are actual metal dude I just stuck my fingers back there and it kind of hurt they're like actual grommet things in there which is crazy but you have you know black panthers logo right there with it with his actual face on there dude like that that in it of itself is just really cool but then they didn't leave dame out they got his logo in there and it's made out of metal as well you've got that kind of like pattern that looks almost like his costume the the new nanotech version or whatever that if you guys watch the movie shiri made it for him if you didn't spoiler alert and then on the rear section right there you got that color that comes out of his brand new costume when it absorbs all of the hits and all that stuff and then deflects that power in there if you guys are major nerds that's a power thing that that bishop uses in the x-men strong guy does the same thing i know that i'm getting a little like extra nerdy but i'm just saying like that's a cool power and i think it's weird that they made black panther's new costume to have that kind of power to replicate that power because that is a mutant ability I'm, I'm just saying. And quite possibly the best feature right there, that Wakanda forever, man. That is f***ing cool. And in case you guys wanted to look at the outsole, there you go. So again, I think that the Iron Man version of all of these things looks the best along with the Captain Marvel one, but out of all of the shoes, this is the one that I would probably want to grab to play in. This is one of my favorite shoes of the year so far. Stay tuned for that upcoming video, by the way. These are fantastic. I'll explain more in the upcoming video coming in June, by the way. We do our mid-year kind of like roundup of best shoes so far. This is on that list and I'll, again, explain everything in that video. Now, real quick, if you guys haven't seen previous videos, like this video is super old and all that stuff, what I would recommend is going down half a size in these, down half a size in these. These I went true to size and you're perfectly fine. They even fit a little bit short. So some people might want to go up half a size if they have like extremely wide feet. But that is my sizing recommendation for everything. If you wanted to check out any of their performance reviews, actually this one, just don't bother. But you can watch it if you want to have some fun. And then this guy right here, it's an awesome shoe. This guy I never even got around to, but we do have a performance review available on the website at weartesters.com. So that pretty much takes care of everything. Let me know which wh which one of these is your favorite. Not, not of these three, but the entire pack. You know, sound off below in the comments section. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Big thank you to Adidas for sending these out here. It was like a really cool surprise and all that stuff and again as like a comic book and sneaker nerd this is like a match made in heaven can we get a dc pack now please a nightwing colorway specifically thank you once again and until next time guys have a good one
So this is not the first Adidas Marvel collection, and it definitely won't be the last. Do you remember the product placement, the blatant product Everybody placement? Everybody was such a hater about that. In Age of Ultron, I know. Look at them now, though. Right? <laughs> and like now people are like, oh yeah, no, it's awesome. It's just really cool, though, as a fan of both genres, I guess. Oh yeah, this is like a dream come true for you. Yeah, like just to be like, hey, I'm I'm into sneakers and, because you, you, you normally see this stuff like, like Mosh do customs, mm -hmm. you know, like paint like a dragon's Sword or, or whatever and oh, speaking of which do an official Power Rangers collab too um, but yeah so it's just really cool to see you know worlds collide I wish you had gotten although I guess maybe I don't wish you had gotten because then I would have been jealous but the, <laughs> <laughs> the boost versions of these that they there, had come out with yeah so there were two additional shoes they I don't remember the boost shoe name like I don't remember the model name but one of them was another Captain Marvel I think yeah and that one was really really cool then the other one was like a Thanos one which was really dope there's other other shoes in the pack. There's the Captain America one that's the next level. Thor is represented with the marquee boost and then uh, which looks really great by the way. The third one is the Iron Man one which is the Harden 3. That's a great shoe. That's something too is that out of all the shoes that they made they're all pretty much still performance driven. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just outdated as, as all hell. So these guys right here, out of your, out of all of them. Out of these three or out of all of them? Uh, out of these three. I know that you're probably biased. You probably like the Captain Marvel. Oh, she's I got big... like a major girl crush on Captain Marvel. Not looks wise, just she's a badass and I love her and I want to be her. <laughs> and maybe we could be friends. No, that's just like, <laughs> you just went from like creepy, you went from creepy, creepy 1,000 to creepy 3,000. Like I love quick. her 3,000. Yeah, like man, what happened there? She's a big Captain Marvel fan all of a sudden. Hashtag no new friends. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'd actually wear these. I'd wear the, the boost ones. I think those ones are cool. These look cool because they look like you literally sat down with some crayons and drew them out and somebody turned it into a shoe. I just think that it looks like her costume, which I think is great. Again, a great representation. Like this, this is more like comic book costume, not movie yeah. version costume. This, this is movie version. Right. But again, like what can you do? Because the comic book one is like straight black. Mm hmm. Um, it doesn't have all the cool like intricate designs unless you get like further into the like the newer age comics and stuff But same thing with this one like there's not anything you could do with shield I'm surprised the shoe is still because you guys <laughs> ask about it a lot These suck and I know how Yo, much he hates these it. These suck I'm telling you if you think foam posits are bad to play in this shoe got that shoe beat hands down This is one of the worst shoes I've ever ever worn ever 